we are still on our series and today we are on the center back position. We are going to have our classic number 4 and number 5. For this reason, the top 2 central defenders out of our 5 nominated players will make it into our team. The path to Africa's greatest players ever by position continues. We start with Rigobert Song at the number 5 position. He has the most appearances for his national team among all the central defenders on this list. He has participated in the African Cup of Nations tournament 8 times and has won 2 of them. He has the most caps for Cameroon with a whopping 137. He has played in 4 FIFA World Cup tournaments. A French scout spotted the talent of Rigobert Song while he was still playing in Cameroon. He brought the young lad to France to play for Metz. He won the friendly cup with Metz in 1994. From the French club, he moved to Italy to play for Salernitana. He then moved to Liverpool where he won the UEFA Cup. Between 2000 to 2004, he played for West Ham, Cologne and Lens. He was not happy at West Ham because he was compared to the just departed West Ham defender Rio Ferdinand. Rigobert Song felt it was disrespectful to compare him to Rio Ferdinand. This underlies the confidence and self-belief of the Cameroonian who is also known as Big Chief. He moved to Galatasaray where he won two Turkish league titles and one Turkish cup. He finally ended his career with Trabzonspor where he won the Turkish cup. Rigobert Song was a no-nonsense defender. He was ruthless and a man full of action on the pitch. Rigobert Song received a red card in the FIFA World Cup in 1994 making him the youngest player in FIFA World Cup to ever receive a red card. Rigobert Song and Zinedine Zidane are the only two players to have been sent off in two World Cup tournaments. Better be careful when Rigobert Song rushes at you. We have Kolo Toure at the number 4 position. He started his playing career with Asek Mimosas. He was signed by Arsenal in 2002, while at Arsenal, he started as a defensive midfielder and a right back. It was at the beginning of the 2003-2004 season that he started playing as a centre defensive partner with Sol Campbell. It was that season that Arsenal claimed the Premier League title, unbeaten, thereby earning the moniker the Invincibles. In the 2005-2006 season, the Kolotoure and Senderos partnership at centre-back led to 10 consecutive matches played without conceding a goal in the UEFA Champions League. It is a record that still stands. Kolotoure won four titles while with the Ghanaians. He was signed by Manchester City in 2009 and helped the club win the Premier League and the FA Community Shield during his tenure. He got the move to Liverpool where he finished runner-up in both the Football League Cup and the Europa UEFA League. He won the Scottish Premier League title and the Scottish League Cup with Celtic of Scotland. Kolotoure was a very strong central defender and very well built for the position. He was energetic and well noted for his attacking defensive style. He had 120 appearances for the Elephants of Cote d'Ivoire and helped the national team to win the 2015 African Cup of Nations. He was also named in the team of the tournament. He participated in the 2006 and 2010 FIFA World Cup tournaments. We have Nourudin Nebet at the number 3 position. He started his professional career with Wydad Athletic Club in Morocco where he won 3 Moroccan league titles. He also won the CAF Champions League in 1992. He helped the club to win the Afro-Asian Cup in 1993. The Arab Club Championship and the Arab Super Cup are also in his laurels. He also won the Moroccan Throne Cup in 1989. He went on to play for Nantes in the French top flight division where he won the French League. He also won the Portuguese League title and the domestic Super Cup in Sporting Lisbon. In 1996, he was signed by Deportivo La Corona where he spent a total of 8 years as their centre-back. In the 1999-2000 season, he helped Deportivo La Corona to win the La Liga for the first time in its history. The club also won the Spanish Super Cup and the Copa del Rey. He has participated in the FIFA World Cup tournaments of 1994 and 1998. He ended his football career with Tottenham Hotspurs. Nuruddin Nebet was a strong and robust defender. He was very good with anticipating passes and was a recognizable centre-back of his era in the world of football. The second slot goes to Wael Goma. He started his professional career with Ghazi El Mahala. His club met Al Ali in the Egypt Cup Finals and his performance caught the eyes of Al Ali officials who immediately signed him the following season. He won 18 domestic titles with Al Ali. He has won the CAF Champions League 6 times and the CAF Super Cup 5 times. 
He has also won the African Cup of Nations on three occasions. He has appeared four times in the CAF team of the year. He has 27 career goals and that is decent for a centre-back. He has appeared a good 114 times for the Pharaohs of Egypt. He was a good passer of the ball and a constant threat in the penalty box when set pieces are taken. His aerial ability was very superb and he was so quick on the ball. The greatest Egyptian defender of all time deserves the second spot on our list of the greatest African centre-backs in history. Before we unveil our greatest African centre-back of all time, here are some notable mentions. Lucas Radebi, Hani Ramsey, Stephen Keshi, Benatia, Taibo West, Bwanga Chimen, and Bobo Baldi. The greatest African centre-back of all time goes to Samuel Osekufo, popularly known as Sami Tuga. Football fans all over the world remember one of the most iconic images in football after the 1999 Bayern Munich defeat to Manchester United in the Champions League Finals. That is Samuel Osekufo for you. He was very passionate and wholly devoted to the game. He had it all as a centre-back. He could tackle well, had pace, a good header of the ball and loves driving forward. He is best known for his man-marking ability. A soccer pundit once stated that at his peak, he was even better than Paolo Maldini. Samuel Osekufo started his career with Fantomas Kumasi in Ghana. He then went on to play for King Faisal Bibbs. At the age of 15 years, he was whisked to Torino in Italy. He joined Bayern Munich in 1993 but had a loan spell with Nuremberg before becoming a constant feature in the Bayern Munich senior squad for a good 11 years. He is the youngest defender ever to score a goal in the Champions League. He did so at the age of 18 years and 61 days. He is also the youngest Olympic football champion in history, doing so at the age of 15 years. He also had his first appearance for the senior national team of Ghana at the age of 17. He has played 54 times for the Blasters of Ghana and has featured in five African Cup of Nations. He was named the man of the match in the 2001 Intercontinental Cup match between Bayern Munich and Boca Juniors. He has won 14 trophies with the German giants Bayern Munich. Samuel Sekufo has played for all categories of the Ghana national teams. He was a part of the team that won the 1991 Under-17 World Championship held in Italy. He also won the silver medal two years later in the World Youth Championship in Australia. He won the BBC African Footballer of the Year in 2001. He has been a runner for the African Best Player of the Year on two occasions. From Bayern Munich, he spent three years with Roma and then he moved on to Livorno and then Ajax. He retired in 2009 as one of the most prolific and decorated African footballers the world has ever witnessed. Thank you very much and remember to subscribe, like and comment on the video.